going on, my ninjas? This is your girl, Maya, and this is your ultimate test of longevity. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about how well can you get your ass up from the ground. Pachoo! Pachoo! <laughs> okay, guys, this video is going to cover getting up from the ground, why it's so important to practice it now before you all decrepit and cannot get your ass up from the ground, and why you need to share this with your parents and our friends that are older because we all need to improve our longevity. You guys cue that intro. Don't forget to subscribe and press that bell Bing! so you don't miss any of this crazy, ridiculous content. The reason why I wanted to be a trainer and a movement coach when I was a nurse is because I was seeing people all around me lose the ability to sit down and get up without using uh, a furniture, tools, a cane, a walker, their hands and their knees. You guys, it was breaking my heart to see people just completely lose the ability to move properly and to take care of themselves. Can you imagine losing your ability to even put on your shoes, to even pull up your pants? This is why training and helping you move better is so important to me and the reason why I became a movement coach. I still am a nurse and so I'm making my patients do this stuff every single day. So what I'm talking about is getting yourself really, really good at getting up from the floor. So, so many of us right now are sitting on chairs. So many of our cultures are really anti-floor. And if you look at all the different cultures around the world that are really floor-based, Japan, China, Southeast Asia, we eat on the floor, everything we do is on the floor. They are living better, moving better, having a better quality of life. So what I want you to do is practice sitting on the floor as much as you can, exploring different ways to get up without using your hands. Okay, I'm gonna show you a few and then I'm gonna give you a challenge at the end. So, this is your basic sit to stand. Try not to move, use momentum because that's cheating. All right, you might go one leg. You might go a lunge, right? This is a nice BJJ move, a lunge and stand. You might try to use a shin box. Whoa, I almost lost it. A shin box and stand. The reason why I love just teaching the sit to stand movement is because it is the biggest indicator of how well you can control your body and your ability to understand and become aware of your body and your motor control, right? Plus, sitting to standing position is the ultimate test of mobility, strength, and flexibility because now we've got to put our legs together with our core and our knee strength, knee stability, leg strength, and stand up. So already I showed you several ways. Winjas, I want you to sit down on the floor, explore movement with me, and here is your challenge. Okay, I don't know what is up with this move, but it is so hard, even for me. So start in a nice upright posture with your legs straight out. And I want you to not use your hands. I want you to stand up from here without using momentum. <sighs> okay. And without crossing your legs underneath you. So we're gonna go. <sighs> oh man. Okay, let me sh I might have to cheat a little bit and use a little bit of momentum or at least put my hands forward. <sighs> what the heck is this sorcery? <laughs> Let's try it again. <sighs> okay, sit. Oh, sad. Woo! Yo, witches, give that a try. Let me know how often do you spend time on the ground and how easy is it for you to get up into standing position. Okay, guys, if you like the way I coach, if you like learning how to live your best life, please make sure you check out the description box. Check out the Winja way. This is your girl, Maya. Give me a like. Drop a like for Mike, the editor. Pow! I'll see you guys next time.